Okay, so hopefully you've got a setup that looks kind of a little bit like this. Um, so I've got my work from last week, just here. I've got my pencil set up on the side. I've got some coloured pencils as well that I'm going to be using today. And then I've got a couple of rulers. So this is the best way to set up your work, ready to start now with today's lesson. So today is lesson two of our packaging project. So the first thing that we're going to have a look at today is I want you to just take your work from last week that we did. So what you should have is you should have done a couple of drawings, um, continuous line, simple line drawing. You've done your tonal shading grid and then task four, I asked you to complete a high quality tonal drawing. The first thing I would like you to do today is just write a what went well and an even better if about your drawing. So I've noticed um, a lot of drawings needed more tone using the light and dark tonal shading grid. So please have a look at that. And underneath it, just here somewhere, you can write what went well and even better if. Then we are gonna move on. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, we are gonna use this drawing to help us today. Um, I want you to just now have a look um, to your packaging item. So I've got the dib dub packet just here. So I wanted to use that. Um, and today, what we're going to have a look at is learning how to draw this, whatever packaging you chose, in a crumpled way. So we're going to have a go at learning how to crumple up something and then draw it. So the idea is you can use the same packaging that you used last week. It doesn't have to be um, the same, though. It could be different. Um, it is up to you. And you're just going to literally crumple it up like this. Okay, and then we're going to have a look at learning how to draw it. As you can see, I have already had a go at drawing my packaging. And this is what we are aiming for to achieve by the end of this lesson. You can fill your page in doing so, or you can do about half a page. It is entirely up to you. I've done about three quarters of my page in my sketchbook because I thought it would be easier for myself and to show you how to effectively draw this idea of crumpled up packaging. So the thing that you need to start on when you are drawing your crumpled up packaging, just like so, is you need to make sure that you really look at the shape that you're in fact drawing. So as you can see, I've got a really kind of wonky lined shape around the outside. So if I ignore anything in the middle and I just look at these lines around the outside, that is the bit that we are focusing on first. So you're following the lines with the packaging with your eyes. So don't focus about any of the inside details, just focus on those lines that we are creating around the outside. That is the one thing. Now the next thing that you need to consider, I'm just gonna get my packaging, is you need to consider the lines that come through on top of the packaging. So if you look closely, there's lots of shadows, lots of light and dark areas. So you need to consider the lines that come through. So you are just drawing several lines onto your work using this packaging. So it is good to work large, to work carefully and take your time. So you need a pencil, preferably sharp when you're doing this task. Always have a sharp pencil because you'll find it easier. And you need to then really, really quickly and carefully use sketchy lines to build up the outside layer. Constantly looking at your packaging when you're doing this. I'm just showing you on camera, but I want you to do this on a flat surface so you can do this very, very delicately. It is important that you look at proportion and you look at the scale of your drawing. A scale as in size. So you need to make sure you've got lots of quick sketchy lines and think about the sharp edges and corners that will be made from the crumpled packaging. Yeah, whereas that line would usually be straight, I've crumpled the packaging and I've done a diagonal line. So just use this line drawing technique that we did last week, but now take on board the free effect of drawing um, different angular lines. So take your time with it, use rubber, 
Yeah, you can see I've worked very, very lightly with my pencil. And the reason that I've worked so lightly is because I'm going to add colour with pencil like you will to your drawing after this. So you don't really want to see many of these pencil lines. It might be when you add your colour, you rub some of them out as you're going along. If you've got packaging like mine, which doesn't have any black on it, you're not going to want to see any of those pencil lines after. So it is important to work very lightly and delicately um, with your drawing. You're not going to add any shade with a, color, uh, with a grey pencil. You're only going to add your colours and your shades when we add coloured pencils. But this is step one, year seven of lesson two on packaging. You're going to have a go at trying to draw some crumpled packaging. In the next video, you will see um, I will be showing you how to add colour and you're going to start adding the colour to this today's lesson and then we'll finish it next lesson. Have a great day, Year 7. Any questions, please send me a message. Many thanks, Miss Sullivan. Happy creating.